Hi everyone, so I'm quite excited about this video. Uh, this uh, post is here, um, and I'm quite excited about this one because I know what it is. Um, this has been sent to me from Bin Bin at IC Station, and it's stuff that I've requested. And um, yeah, it's quite exciting. So it's to do with the solar project. Um, so I don't know if any of you remember, but I have a problem where the thing disconnects, uh, the Wi-Fi disconnects every, you know, every whatever it is, every, you know, once a day or something like that. Um, and with this thing, the SP32, it's in the shed, and I've got a router here in my office, and I've got a router in the house, and it's somewhere like in, it's somewhere in between in a building, of course. So this one is about about 12 metres away and the other one's about 9 metres away but the one in the house uh, has a lot of walls and stuff in the way so maybe, so it disconnects so I've got this one here in the office as well and um, it doesn't disconnect as much but it still disconnects sometimes so anyway the SP32 that I've currently got is a little board and it's not this board but it's a, a similar board um, I think it's made by Do It, uh, and it's got like a little integrated antenna and all that sort of stuff uh, but it's obviously just not powerful enough the antenna is just not powerful enough or, or whatever it disconnects so I had a chat with Bin Bin and I said can you send me something like this something that, that's got a better range and whatever so she said um, let me have a look see what we can find so yeah this stuff's from IC station uh, sent to me by Bin Bin so I'd like to say thank you um, but anyway let's have a look in fact, let's start with this one. So we've got an ESP32. I'll put all the links to this stuff in the uh, description so you can have a quick look. So here's the ESP32. Oh, I almost slipped off my hand there. And there it is. And you can see this is quite a special one because, look at this here. It has a little IPEX thing. I think it's called IPEX or something like that, anyway. Yeah, so uh, there's the... ESP32 and I've got a board as well so if I can open this thing <coughs> here we go so you can see here that this you can actually use this breakout board for two different um, types of the chip I'm going to zoom in a bit more here hang on it's better isn't it so you can use it for two different types of ESP32. There's ESP32S, whatever that is, and there's ESP32, which is the one I've got. So, um, yeah, so I've got the chip here. So that's going to go on there, obviously, like that. And this bit here will stick out, presumably. So that's going to be soldered onto there. And they've already been tinned as well, actually, which is good. Um, and obviously these go in here like that and I believe it's breadboard friendly as well um, but I'll have to check that so I've got the module, I've got the breakout board let's just put that on there just to make it look a bit better for the video and now here's the important bit if I just open this bag I've got what looks like a super antenna so I'll just zoom out a bit now this antenna really is huge for what it is. It's like an antenna off a router or something like that. It looks like a very good quality thing. And I have this connector here. I think this connector is called UFL but I'm not, I'm not too sure. So that connects like that. And then this thing will go here. On here it will clip on. Just like this hopefully. Is it going to clip on? Yeah there we go. Like that. So if I just zoom out, you can see how huge this thing really is. Yeah, so there's the... Yeah. Oh, what's that on the back? Let's have a read of that. What does it say? Board model, ESP32 bit, software, ESP32 SDK, eboxmaker.com, vendor ebox. Hmm. Anyway, so there's the antenna, and as you can see, it's huge. There we go. So it'll be like that. Now, if this if this thing uh, can't connect to my router, I don't know what will. Ooh. So um, yeah. So I'm going to get the ESP32, which is in the solar shed, and 
I'm going to replace it with this one and hopefully there won't be any more disconnects with this thing because um, the antenna looks suitable um, we'll see what happens though so just before I terminate the video let's see what we've got here we've got some uh, some little nuts and washers now I assume that's for this here so you can't screw it in too tight or too loose and also so that you can kind of trap this in a case or something like that so you put that through the case then you put the washer on and the nut and then you'd just simply screw that on there like that yeah so anyway uh, this is an update to come to the solar project so I'll show you the links for these things now anyway Right, so well, what have we got here? Uh, first thing I'll do actually is just change this into GBP. So sorry to any who are not British. Oh, what's happened there? Uh, let's press enter again. There we go. Right, so I've got it in GBP and dollars now. Right, so let's have a look. ESP32 bit module, development board, Wi Fi, Bluetooth module, CP2102 chip, ESP3212 support Linux, Windows, Mac. Internet of Things. Uh, £4.49, that's for the breakout board. Actually, that's not bad. Uh, and then down here, oh, let's have a look at the pictures. Yeah, let's go down here. So, what does it say? Uh, CPU, RAM, doesn't matter about that because that's part of the module. A CP2102 is used as a USB to serial port, more stabilized. Blah 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 blah. Uh, row needle is not welded. They always say welded, not soldered. I don't know why. Uh, there's a pin out there which doesn't really matter too much to me. There's a picture of its design. Tested by partner. Blah 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 blah. Um. Okay, cool. So that's the first product. Um. It's basically the breakout board. Let's look at the next product now. So it's this, the ESP32 itself. So ESP32 bit module, uh, ESP32 module, Bluetooth dual core, blah, 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 blah. And it's $10. So I wanted to see what that is in GBP. Hang on. If I press enter again, it might do it. Yeah, £7.61. £7.61. So let's have a quick look again. Yep, that's the module, so, oops, what's happened there? And it goes on about all this stuff. Ah, there you go, IPEX external antenna connection interface. And that's why I really wanted this module, because I can get a better signal. Um, well, hopefully, anyway. Um, so, that's why I wanted it. I don't know if the pinout's the same. I hope it will be the same. Um, because, of course, then I can just do a direct swap for my uh, setup that I've already got. Anyway, £7.61, here you go. And then the next product is this one. Now, I'm not 100% sure about compatibility of this thing. I mean, I don't know I don't know how this thing works. But anyway, $2.60, which is... Is that about one ninety or something like that? Uh, one eighty two, one pound And um, six decibels. Uh, it's got the gain, impedance all this other sort of stuff here there's a couple of uses there it says 15 centimeters long 19.5 centimeters uh, long antenna so hopefully this will be really good for my project um, we'll certainly see how it goes anyway so um, yeah that's everything that I wanted to show in this video so as usual uh, thanks for watching and I hope to keep you updated soon um, when I do the swap over for the solar project so once again, thank you and goodbye.